Hey guys, so I am an educator at Unacademy and you can follow me over there if you are interested to watch videos on basic concepts of chemistry or physical chemistry topics. You can also recommend this to your juniors and to your younger siblings, right? All you need to do is download the Unacademy learning app and watch my videos over there. Now let's just begin with our topic. So uh, many of you were requesting me a video on BARC interviews, like how to prepare for the BARC interviews. Uh, okay, so first of all, con congratulations to those of you who have qualified for the interview and those who haven't or who haven't given the paper till yet, uh, definitely give the paper next year because it's a very good opportunity for those of you who are looking for a good government job, right? Plus who also want to do some kind of a research work. Now. Uh, before I begin with what you need to prepare, for, uh, let me tell you that I have never given BARC interview before. All right. So this what I'm uh, giving you the experience that I'm sharing is a second hand second hand experience. So uh, some people that I know uh, my seniors or from or you know my friends they are in BARC those who have qualified BARC and are currently enrolled in BARC. They have given me some specifics on how to prepare for the interview and that is what I'm going to share with you guys today, right? So uh, first of all, this is a very peculiar kind of interview. Uh, what do I mean by peculiar is that they will give you a sheet of paper. Generally, that's what they had experience. Again, I'm telling you that I'm sharing their experience. It's not my personal experience. So they had given you a sheet of paper. So they will give you a sheet of paper and they'll tell you to write four to five topics, right? Four to five topics on that sheet of paper, right? They don't tell you what topics basically if you're from chemistry you write chemistry topics if you're from physics you write physics topics or if you are from engineering you write for those four to five topics of engineering those who which you think you are good at or which you can answer questions on and the inter interview will be based on these four to five topics only nothing else only these four to five topics and specifically the first two topics that you write in the sheet of paper the first two topics that you write you have to be very knowledgeable in that in that field or in that topic because they will go in depth on those two topics the first two topics that you write out of the four to five topics that you will be writing those those first two topics you should be very very well versed uh, right from the basics to the advanced level topics uh, advanced level uh, you know concepts involved in that topic right so um, let me uh, so one of my fr uh, friends seniors he was from like he gave the interview he qualified and I'll tell you what subjects he chose. So the first one he chose was uh, organometallics. All right, organometallics, organometallics. Right. So this is the first topic that he chose. Um, the second one was named reactions in organic chemistry. Name reactions, name reactions in organic chemistry. Right. Name reactions in organic. And the third topic that he chose was um, crystal field theory crystal field theory right and the fourth one uh, was um, your um, what do you call it? chemical kinetics so these were the four topics that he chose and the questions were asked on these four topics right so uh, uh, what he told me was that the, que the questions are very very basic like they start from a very uh, basic level and gradually they move on to the advanced question so once you start answering the basic questions then gradually you move on to the advanced topics all right so uh, don't be afraid just start with the basics uh, right you know whenever whenever when you are preparing for these four or five topics that whatever you think you will be uh, writing on that piece of paper uh, just think that you have to start from the basics and then go to the advanced level just don't start from the advanced level itself first uh, clear up your basics read good uh, reference books good reference books means the ones that are you know that are recommended by various institutes in the syllabus like for example for organic chemistry there's Clayton right for organic uh, we have Clayton right or we can have Jerry March so refer to these books uh, then in, uh, in organic we have Hui all right and what else we have Miser and Tar and um, you know cotton is there for inorganic chemistry crab tree is there so these are good reference books uh, for physical chemistry again if you're preparing for quantum then you know uh, Levine and McQuarrie so uh, you know so these books are good reference books for you and you can um, go for these kind of books and uh, one more thing that I want to tell you is all right so this is a basic thing and plus he told me that this will be a purely technical interview the questions will be based on your topic only nothing else 
so it will be a purely technical interview there will be no aptitude kind of questions uh, it will be all based on your chemistry and other thing that he told me was that the interviewers are very very chilled out people they will encourage you at each and every step all right so don't be disappointed if you're not able to answer a few questions they are very encouraging people no need to be nervous around them all right and don't try to fool them that's that that's what i say for every interview don't try and fool them because they are generally distinguished scientists in their own field so they'll have a very you know they will be they will have a very um, what do you call like in-depth knowledge of their own subject so don't try and fool them in in those topics whatever you are writing just prepare them well you have about one month uh, i hopefully every most of you would have chosen dates um, around the last dates that is 29th may 30th may or 1st june i think 1st june is the last date so hopefully you guys might have chosen those kind of dates all right and the second dog oh, right so this is there and the technical interview is very long all right so this will be one of the longest interviews that you might have been giving in your life uh, it can minimum it goes till one hour and it can go up to one and a half hours as well one and a half hours or one hour minimum is one hour right at least for one hour the interview will definitely be on right so be prepared for a long interview and uh, if you need a break in between just tell them you know just have a sip of water or something just take a break um, it's all, all it's all right to ask a break there's no uh, you know there's there should be no kind of uh, uh, embarrassment or there should be no kind of disappointment if you ask for a break all right if you need a break just ask them give me two minutes i just need to have water and then you know refresh your mind and then start again in case you are feeling that you are not able to answer the questions that you know of then just ask them to take a couple of minutes break have some sip of water and then start again all right now this is what was given to me the information that was given to me now talking about the logic that we can use all right so if you see the subjects that uh, that uh, he chose they were organometallic name reactions in organic chemistry all right crystal field theory and chemical kinetics now what i feel is if you look at this graph that i have drawn on the uh, left hand side this graph over here that i have drawn uh, i have written over here depth and over i have re written over here broad by broad means broadness of the topic so for example organometallics organometallics is a very very broad topic all right so organometallics is a very broad topic so the i i feel all right this is my logic that i'm using that if the subject is very very broad whatever topic that you have written is a very broad topic so the questions uh, the depth of the questions will be very very less i mean they will not be able to go deep in those questions so they will be able to ask you the basics but organometallics is such a vast topic that they will only be able to ask you basics they would not have the time to go into the advanced uh, not advanced level topics or advanced level organometallics because organometallics in general is very vast so they'll ask you basics of different kinds of um, topics which are sub topics which are there in organometallics but if you go for very specific topics like for example if i write um, if if in my sheet i write nmr spectroscopy since since i since i am very good at uh, nmr spectroscopy so sorry about this so if in my sheet i write about nmr spectroscopy right so if i write about nmr spectroscopy then nmr nmr spectroscopy is a very specific topic so if i am writing a very specific topic that means the broadness of the question is decreasing the depth will increase so if i am writing a topic like nmr spectroscopy then the depth of the questions will be very uh, the questions will be very deep all right very advanced topics also will be there various advanced sub topics will also be there in nmr spectroscopy so be careful of this if you are writing a very very specific topic like nmr spectroscopy um it is a very very uh, expect questions that will be going to very advanced level right so if you are writing very specific topics like nmr spectroscopy or ir spectroscopy or your if you are writing spectroscopy then that's a very broad topic but if you are specifying which spectroscopy like nmr spectroscopy or ir spectroscopy then you are you are basically narrowing down the narrowing down the uh, broadness of the topic you are going to a very specific topic and if you go to a very specific topic be uh, be sure that you know that topic in and out because then very very high and advanced level topics will be asked from that particular uh, whatever you write like for example nmr spectroscopy so if you have great in depth knowledge of nmr spectroscopy then i think you can write nmr spectroscopy because if you see the topics that he had chosen organometallics is a very broad topic then name reactions in organic chemistry is also a very broad topic there are thousands of name reactions in organic chemistry so again the 
they cannot go deep inside a name reaction right so they they have to ask you many name reactions all right it could be also there that the examiner thinks he specific, he catches one name reaction only and goes in the, goes into you know goes in deep uh, goes in depth of that particular topic it could also be there but in general he will ask you very various name reactions and you would not have the time to go deep in that particular topic then crystal field theory is a very specific topic right and chemical kinetics is again a very broad topic right and don't worry about which topics you are writing because let's say you might be thinking that it's nuclear chemistry what i am going to become is a nuclear chemist so uh, i should write more topics uh, pertaining to physical chemistry because physical chemistry obviously uh, you know uh, is is uh, quite useful in nuclear chemistry but it is not so because for one year you will be a trainee scientific officer where you will be studying lot of subjects which are pertaining to nuclear chemistry uh, nuclear engineering and lot of other subjects you might have to study right so you will study all those topics in your one year in as a trainee scientific officer that is a tso right so ne no need to worry that you have to write physical chemistry topics only it's up to you you can write inorganic topics if you like if you write if you like you you can write organic topics and if you like you can uh, write inorganic topics so any topic that you like you can write uh, you know you should not worry about which topics you should prefer but yes if you are choosing topics uh, which have organic inorganic and physical right if you choose two topics from organic let's say organic is strong and inorganic is strong so if you are choosing two topics from organic and two from inorganic then i think it would be beneficial if you can choose one topic from physical as well because uh, that will give a, a you know that will leave a impression on the scientists those who are taking your interview that you have a uh, you, you are a whole package you have uh, you know knowledge of different aspects of chemistry as well not just one specific uh, uh, you know topic right so yes if you have diverse like kind of uh, you know diverse kind of topics then that will be i think a plus point for you uh, like for example over here you can see that um, you know i'll just take another another color pen uh, all right so like over here you can see that uh, there is organometallics right then there's name reactions so this one is from inorganic so this topic is from uh, inorganic right then this is from organic then again inorganic and then we have physical so you can see there's a variety in those topics and plus the topics are very broad mostly right crystal field theory is a very uh, specific topic but other topics are very broad so again uh, i'll leave that choice up to you whether you want to go for broad topics or you want to go for specific topics if you are going for specific topics i'll repeat again that is very important that you should be very very uh, uh, you should be uh, you should have very good knowledge of that subject in and out if you are going for a very specific topic right because that then the questions are going to be really advanced level right uh, now you have about a one about one month or 20 25 days to prepare for the interview i might many of you might have might be having your final sem exams so it might get a little difficult but you know that's why maybe they give you important topics four or five topics that you are good at so that even if you do not have that much time to prepare you can actually still manage to somehow uh, give a uh, go for a good interview all right so i hope this video was helpful to you um if you like this video do share it with your friends because it's not that if you know this particular thing that they ask you four to five topics that you're going to qualify let your friends also know about it let them also have a fair chance of qualifying for the interview may the best man qualify for the interview may the best man slash woman qualify for the interview right so all the very best for the coming semester exams and for your interview and uh, do subscribe to my channel if you like the videos give it a thumbs up and plus very important share it with your friends all right so thank you so much for watching and all the very best